The world may have turned the corner in the fight against the coronavirus, but there are many challenges for scientists around the world. As we speak, we have a big outbreak of yellow fever virus in Kenya. Yeah, we have a Rift Valley uh, virus epidemic in Burundi. Yeah, we have this monkeypox, yeah, measles, polio. So unfortunately, we, we, we are coming to an age of epidemic and pandemics. Yeah. And the reason for that is quite simple. Eh? We, we, we haven't been treating very well our environment. Yeah. And, and more than ever, uh, viruses and bacteria are jumping from animals to, to humans more often. And also we have big uh, international trade and globalization, which helped that kind of uh, epidemics to spread much quicker. De Oliveira heads two specialized research centers, one at Stellenbosch University and one at the University of Kuzulu Natal. He was recognized by Time 100 for having led the team accredited for identifying the Omicron variant of the coronavirus in 2021. Omicron was controversially referred to as a South African variant, which led to discriminatory travel bans on South African and African travelers. It soon emerged that the variant was present in several countries at the time. De Oliveira emphasizes that the groundbreaking research was a collaborative effort by a team of South African scientists and researchers from laboratories around the country. He also paid tribute to Zimbabwean virologist Dr. Zikulile Moyo, who joined him on the Time 100 list. He says their research helped save lives. Very early identification of variants allow us to prepare with our health system and end up like both Omicron which and the BA4, BA5 uh, uh, end up not generating large number of deaths. And that, and that for us as a scientist, that's very, very important as our result drive public health yeah, and help to, to save lives. He says being internationally recognized has proved that Africa can lead in scientific research worldwide. Significantly, South Africa was the only country outside Europe and the USA which was represented at the Nobel Symposium in Sweden last month. And earlier this year, researchers also made great strides in COVID vaccine design. Renee Heiner, SABC News, Durban.